It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday. Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome if you are new. Um, welcome to Brianna Deshay. I just got to work, just arrived. About to get out the car and go in. It is 7.44. Um, so I'm gonna be bringing you guys along with a day in my life, a work day in my life. Um, I just have two phone interviews and a meeting and then some other things I got going on today um, that I have. And then I will pick up with you guys and bring you along with that. And then we will see what the rest of the day get, what we can get into for the rest of the day. And guess what? It's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Now I am just going to go over these questions that we already have pre-filled for certain positions. And then I'm also going to write down some additional questions or concerns that I have from their resume to help me better understand um, and point out some of the things that I do see in their resume or cover letter. So it just gives me a little bit more personal. Um, I write a few questions personal to that particular candidate. Um, and also, we also have certain um, interview questions already um, ready for different positions um, for the phone screening just to get an idea and see if we would like to bring them in for an actual in-person interview or in these time a virtual interview over Zoom with the people on their team. <music> Before I call the first interview, I am just going to pull up everything um, on our system, pull up their resume, their cover letter, and just go over it just one more last time um, before I give them a call. And that is what I'm about to do now. During the interview, I like to write down any notes that I see, and usually I doodle their responses or put if I feel like it's a no or a yes, I kind of get a understanding of the person within the first couple of minutes. Hello, Osborne Consultant, how are you doing today? I'm great. Is now still a good time to have a little chit chat? Yes. Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Thank you for asking. Um, so I'm just going to be asking you a few questions. It shouldn't take no more than about 10 to 15 minutes. And then afterwards, if you have any questions for me, um, please ask. Um, so I'm just going to jump um, into it and ask you uh, why are you interested in working for him? Okay, 
that's great. And are you still currently employed or, um, or are you not employed? Um, what are your reasons for leaving um, your most recent job? Okay. And can you tell me more about what your previous supervisors may say are your strengths? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Awesome. And what about your weaknesses? Okay. And can you tell me more about like what work accomplishments that you are most proud of? <laughs> okay and you talked about that you don't really have a lot of stormwater experience but can you just describe your past roles relative to transportation projects and highlight in any drainage experience you may have Mm hmm And um, have you been working remotely or in office at your previous jobs? And which one do you prefer? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm one of the people that comes in office. Um, and right now we currently have a mixture of both. We still have half of our office still working from home and half of our office are here. And then there are a few people that comes in a couple of days out the week. Um, 
but it just depends on like right now we just uh rolled out our return to work plan and we're just asking people to either say they're gonna return full time well at least four days a week or if they're gonna be hybrid or do they if they want to work uh full-time remotely um and it just had to be approved but usually with our newer employees we do require like the first couple of months um to be in person and then it's up to your supervisor and your um your department to decide if you can uh approve if you can be able to work from home or just depends on like how you are adapting to the situations um, so I saw on here, um, there are a few jobs that were short term. Is there a reason for that or were there contracts or can you just explain more of um, the more shorter rows? Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, my next couple of questions is just going to be for um, administrative purposes only. And um, I saw that you did put your salary requirements of 41 and um, if offered a position, when would you be available to start? Two weeks, okay. And have you ever been involuntarily terminated? And if you have, can you ex explain? Okay. And um, that is all of the questions I have for you. Do you have any questions that I can try to answer? Um, so this uh, this particular position is um, you would be on our transportation drainage team and you will be working on the current projects or projects that we um, seek after. Uh, we do have a marketing team um, and but we do we do say that everyone um, work is in marketing also. Um, so you won't really be the one that will be doing marketing, but if you do have um, what we say, um, networking opportunities to try to get more projects, we do welcome that, maybe going to conferences or just having your own personal connects. And um, if you know of things, we do recommend, like you can you know, talk to the marketing team about those, um, those leads. Um, but so for the most part, you won't be doing any marketing, um, but only in networking type of situations or, you know, and we do have, uh, depending on your qualifications, we do have some people that have to interview for certain projects. So that will be part, I guess you could consider that marketing because um, you're putting yourself out there to, you know, interview. Um, but um, so I hope that answered the question um, that you were asking. Okay. <laughs> and do you have any other questions? Um, so I will actually be talking to my supervisor on Tuesday and we will be bringing this up to the transportation um, drainage team probably Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday. So you should hear from me no later than Thursday, possibly Wednesday. Okay. No problem. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Now I am interviewing the second person, which is a college student applying for one of our internship programs um, for the summer. Awesome. And what do you hope to gain from this internship? Great. 
And my last, um, I'm not gonna say important question, but before we get to the admin side of the questions, how do you respond to feedback? Um, all right, um, so that is all of those questions I have for you. The next couple of questions um, is just going to be for administrative purposes only. Um, so this is a summer intern um, internship program. Would it be something you're interested in after the summer or, or are you only looking for a summer internship? Okay, and this is an in-person internship. Is that something that you're okay with? Okay. Okay, and I saw that you um, go to Gonzaga, but currently you're in Mocotillo, is that correct? And are you okay with spending the summer in Spokane because this is where this internship um, is located? Okay. Okay, no problem. And um, that is all of the questions I have for you. Is there anything I can answer um, for you? Um, I don't have like exact knowledge, but I do know for um, that our Spokane office, they deal with a lot of uh, research and compliance and also stormwater um, management. And we currently have a few projects in the work with um, the County of Spokane. And also they have um, a couple studies um, that they are currently working on. Um, but far as the details of it, um, I'm not sure, um, but I can always get that information to you. And when you move to the next step, to the next part of the interview, you will be interviewing with the actual engineers and they can definitely answer that question and give you more um, in-depth details about that, if that helps. Okay, and do you have any other questions? Okay, awesome. I enjoyed talking to you today and I'm just gonna be uh, running this by our um, engineer manager in the Spokane office. And you should hear back from me the first part of next week to schedule um, an actual interview. It will be virtual, so don't worry. We will just um, send you a Zoom link. Um, so I will talk to you next week, okay? No problem, have a great weekend. Bye. Second interview is now over, but I am writing down more notes of how I feel and just kind of clean up the notes that I already had down because, of course, listening and trying to write at the same time can sometimes be a challenge. So I always like to go back and write everything that I feel about the person so I can remember any notes that um, I would like to put down. So when I talk to that particular team manager, um, I will let them know how I feel and if I recommend them for an actual interview and if um and then if that's the case then i go ahead and schedule the interview for the actual team um, project managers
every single day. guys i'm going to end the vlog here just got home um it is 5 22 i just stopped picked my daughter up from daycare and stopped at walmart to get some juices and stuff that we need for the weekend and that is going to be it so if you did enjoy um this video please give it a thumbs up if you would like to stick around please also think about subscribing you will love it here i promise you i promise you you will love it here but anyways goodbye later <laughs> See you later. See you later.